So in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to make these reaction rolls with drop down menus that allow you to select multiple rolls in some cases, and then only one roll for color rolls and stuff like that. And also has a little emoji to show you which color you're picking. Now just go to the first link in the description and you will see this Sapphire web page. Click add to Discord and we are going to add the Sapphire bot to our Discord server. Now the funny thing about this bot is that sometimes it will just not reload and if this does happen to you, just go back to dashboard.sapphire.xyz. It'll refresh and then it will say, oh, log in with Discord. You'll have to log into Discord. When you log in, it'll say, okay, click on the server you added it to, minus 1490 because I have no other funny memes in my brain right now. Now once we have the bot added, we actually need to go back to our Discord server, mine's 1490, and we need to create the roles that we want to have as reaction roles. So just go to your roles and then you want to click create role. This one's just going to be a color role. So I'm going to say green, I'm going to pick green, then go to your permissions, clear permissions, click save changes. And I'm going to do that for a whole bunch of colors. Now, the main thing that you need to do, and this is quite important, is that Sapphire needs to be at the very top of these reaction roles. And then your colors need to be on top of any of these chat revive of announcements or mod application roles. And now that's done, let's crack back into Sapphire. So I'm going to start on messages and I'm going to create something called update roles, then click create. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to have this code here in the description. You just need to copy it. Then what we need to do is go into Sapphire, go into raw, just double click, press control A, delete everything, then paste in all that code that was in the description. It's going to look exactly like this. This is the embed we're creating. I know, I copied it right off of my server. Anyways, going back into Sapphire, we can customize this message a little bit more if we want. So we can add emojis in here, like, I don't know, laughing while crying. You could do whatever you want. You can customize this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But if you ever want to see how your kind of embed looks, you can click on preview and it'll show you how it looks. Now, once it's done, we want to click on save changes. And that is our update roles message that will pop up if you add some roles. Now, once we add this update roles template, we need to go to components. Now I have discord on the left here so I can cross reference really quickly. But in this custom select menus, we need to type in color drop down and click on create. Then we can click on color drop down, and this is where we actually create the drop down. So click on add option, and I'm just gonna go down the list. My first option is going to be green. Then we need to click on this plus, and we need to look for add roles. Now for this role here, we need to add in the green role. Now, if you don't see your roles here, what you need to do is you need to refresh the Sapphire bot page. In this case, I was stupid and forgot to save, so I just got to quickly recreate color drop down, click on create, click on this add option. Then we want to do green. Then we want to click on the plus again, click add roles. Then we need to select the green role. And this is very important. We need to click on the plus down here. So another action, and we need to go to remove roles. Now what we need to do in here is we need to remove all the other color roles. So that's gonna be greeny blue, blue, perp, pink, yellow, orange. Now that you have all those color rolls removed, I'm going to skip ahead and just cut to the point where I'm done this for every single color. And now you've added all your colors. Is your arm sore? Mine sure is. We still need to do more though. We need to add an option of removing all the color rolls. And I'm spelling colors with the American spelling, even though I'm Canadian, so this hurts me on the inside. But click on remove rolls, then we just need to select every single color roll. So at this point, if your forearm isn't on fire already, then uh, you're a machine, man. And finally, once we have all our roles selected, including remove all roles, we need to send a message and we need to make sure that this setting is enabled, the that word that I'm not even gonna try and say. Then we need to select a template and click update roles. But yeah, just do this for every single message. Now we can close off of that and we need to create another drop down menu. Now this one's going to be kind of like, I don't know, notification roles or fun roles. In this case, we have chat revive announcements and mod applications. It makes sense to call this, uh, I don't know, notifications drop down. Then click on create. We need to go to notifications drop down, add option, this do remove all and this is going to be for the chat revive announcements and mod application roles so then i'm going to click plus remove roles and i'm going to select those three roles that i just said now once that's done this is where things get a little different so you know make sure to pay attention here we need to add an option we need to do chat revive and in this case it's actually a whole heck of a lot easier we just need to click on the plus button we need to go to toggle roles then we just need to click on the chat revive role. Now, the reason why we use toggle roles here is because some people want chat revive announcements and mod applications, and it makes sense for them to have those notifications. But for color roles, people only need one color for their name. So that's why we had to do that huge kind of work around the laundry list 
of stuff we had to do. Anyways, all you need to do is just repeat this for the two other options that I have. And just like with the color rules, we need to add in that final message. We need to send message. We need to make sure that this option is enabled and click on update roles. And we just need to do that for every single one. And now that it's done, just click on save changes. Now, once we're done that, we need to go to messages and we need to add in a template, another message template. And this is actually going to be the message that prompts people to pick a color role. So I'm going to call this color role message then click on create. Then I'm gonna click on the little message template that we made, go to edit. And now I'm gonna click on embed because embeds just always look great. And in this case, I'm going to say color rolls. And then you can have a description of pick any color you want and it will be applied as a roll exclamation mark this is just a basic embed uh, definitely mess around with this because this is how you make everything look nice now you'll also notice that it says you just created a new template and all this other crap we actually want to remove that and once you do that if you go to preview it should just be the embed but now we need to add in the drop down menu so go back to edit and we need to click on action row then we need to click select menu then on this little cog here we need to click on select an action and we need to pick color drop down. Now, once that's done, we can actually put it in a little placeholder so we can say, pick your color here, exclamation mark. And now we get into the options. In the kind of rule selection menu, I had a remove all function and I want that to be at the very top of the list. So I'm gonna type in remove all, then I'm going to click on the setting here and this action that I'm gonna select, we need to click on remove all colors. So now it's going to say remove all and I can put remove all colors. And for a description, I can say this removes all active roll colors or something like that. And what I can also do is I can actually add an emoji so I can use any emoji from my server or any of the default Discord emojis. So to start off, I'm going to type in my first color, which is just green. Then I'm going to click on the cog here, click on select an action and click on green. Now that I've added in the green roll and made sure that it has the green action, wouldn't it be nice if I could see what color green was kind of in the dropdown? Well, we need to add in a green emoji, but there's no green emoji that really exists. That's why we're going to go to the second link in the description called discordicon.com. And this is where we are going to create, I don't know, some sort of icon to indicate that we are selecting a color roll. Now you can pick whatever one you want, different icons and stuff. I'm going to show you one that I actually quite like. I'm going to click on this little sparkle thing. I'm going to pick on the green color that I actually have. So if I go to Discord, you'll notice that this green is this green color here. So I'm going to select this green color here. Then I'm going to turn on two tone and I'm going to set the secondary color to white. Then when I export that as a PNG, I'm going to go to my Discord server. I'm going to go to emojis and I'm going to upload this as an emoji. So two tone circle sparkle, it's uploading. That's the emoji. Now what we need to do is we need to first off save changes on your list here just so that we can refresh the page because whenever you add an emoji you will need to refresh the dashboard. So I'm refreshing it. I saved it so I don't have to use redo all that work I just did. Go back to color rolls, go to edit. Then for green here I'm going to click on the emoji and kaboom click on the green roll. So now if I go to preview you'll notice that I have a little drop down. Pick your color here. We have remove all colors and we have green with the roll icon that matches the color. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of the color rolls. Now, once it's done, you should have this beautiful laundry list of different rolls with the icons and you should have different emojis in your server that correlate to the roll. And if you click on preview, kaboom, look how beautiful that looks. Now at this point, we just need to actually send this message to a channel. So I'm gonna go back to my Discord server. I'm gonna create a channel. If you don't know permissions already, then I highly suggest you looking at some sort of server tutorial. In this case, I'm just going to make sure that people cannot send messages and they cannot add reactions. We need to add Sapphire and we need to give it permissions to, I don't know, send messages and add reactions. The roles or the permissions that we didn't allow everyone to do. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on use. Then I'm gonna click on a channel and you'll notice that, oh, I need to refresh the page. Make sure to save changes. You don't wanna waste all that time redoing this again. So I'm gonna go back to use, click on channel, click on get roles and click send message. All right, giving it another go, you should see that it says message sent. If it says guild not found, just give it a couple minutes, refresh and try again. Sapphire can be a little buggy at times, but but once you do it, you should have this beautiful message, color rolls. Now I can pick green and guess what? My color turned green. It has this little pop-up. This is awesome. Now, if you want it where you can select multiple rolls in the same dropdown, then just follow these next steps. For maximum selections, we're gonna set it to three because we have three different rolls that people can select. 
In this case, some people want chat revive announcements and mod application roles, and they want all three at the same time. So this makes it so that they can do that. Also, if you want to change the color, just click on this little bar here and you can, I don't know, make it some sort of a uh, nice little purplish uh, pinkish. There we go. That's a fantastic color. Click on the back button. Now there's one last thing, a little sneaky trick I want to tell you, and it's how do we add emojis in the embed message itself? So for color rolls, for example, what if I wanted to, I don't know, have a, one of the emojis next to it? Well, what we need to do is a little bit of weird stuff. We need to go into Discord. We need to do in this backslash command. Then we need to pick an emoji that we want. I really like this uh, pink here, pink roll. I'm gonna add pink roll. And you'll notice that we get kind of these weird bracket things that pop up. You want to copy everything that's in the angle brackets, including the angle brackets, copy it. Then we can paste it into the embed here. And when we click Save Changes and go to Preview, you'll notice that it now has the color roll pop up. Now you'll notice that this emoji is not actually visible on the message currently. So what we need to do is we need to go to Use, go to Edit, then we need to go to the color rolls message that we have, click on the three dots, click Copy Message Link, paste this into Sapphire, and click Edit Message. And kaboom, look at that. We now have the little pink color roll emoji thing. So that's how you add custom server emojis. Now that's basically it. Now there's one debugging thing that you might run into. And if you notice in your drop down menu, you don't see a certain option. That's because that option actually didn't have an action enabled on it. So make sure there's an action. So in this case, chat revive, click save changes. Then I need to re-edit the message. So go to edit, then copy the message link, paste it in, edit message, and finally, I should have chat revive in the drop down menu. And that's it. It's done. This should get your toes just wet enough in the pool that you'd want to dive right in and just go absolutely buck wild with this. Anyways, I'll leave you alone now. I think this video has gone on long enough. I love you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.